The unprecedented season of the UMBC men's basketball back in the spotlight tonight at the Rack Arena. Yeah, the Retrievers are trying to keep those hopes for a postseason championship alive. ABC 2 News' Sean Stepner tells us what happened. Well, it started two weeks ago with 26 teams heading into Wednesday night. Only four remained. We're talking about the collegeinsider.com postseason tournament. UMBC already with the program's first three postseason wins under its belt trying to get number four in the CIT semifinals, hosting Texas A&M Corpus Christi. The Retrievers would be up against it, folks. Leading scorer, Jarris Lyles, out for the contest. He suffered a knee injury late in the quarterfinal win over Liberty. It was all good, though, in the first half. The lone senior starter, Will Darley, the turnaround J, the Timonium native with a team-high 15 points on the night. Also with 15 was Baltimore native Rodney Elliott, the dogs would lead by five at halftime. However, second half, all Islanders, and this is the kind of night it was for UMBC. The student section counting down the shot clock early, trying to punk Corpus Christi. Take a listen. Kareem South falls for it, but still banks in the desperation with a full six seconds until the buzzer. The Islanders shoot 73% in the second half, ending the Retriever's CIT run 79-61, your final. You want to have a team that they say plays hard. Our guys did that. Uh, you, want to see, you want to have a team that plays very unselfish. Our guys did that, you know, all season. And uh, we're certainly not, not perfect, but there's a lot of room for growth. It's been a long journey. Um, you know, it's been a long four years, and, and to, to have this senior season, it's been great. The Retrievers finished their season with a respectable record of 21 and 13. In Baltimore, Sean Stepner, ABC2 News.